So, um, welcome back, everybody, to Rabbit Rob's Rabbit 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 Rabbitry. <laughs> no. Anyway, so, so this is FS22, or sorry, FS19, yeah, FS19 is winding down, FS22 is coming around. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick little series here, so what I'm going to do is go through all the vehicles, give you guys an idea, you know, just go through a quick view on them, and then show you what I like to pick and then I'm going to go ahead and do another video with all the tools, show what I like, show what's in them, and then show what I like to do if I even use them at all. Some stuff I don't even use, but same thing with the objects here and then with the placeables. So as we go through, and then of course, landscaping doesn't necessarily, it's irrelevant. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and do a series. So, so, so it's going to basically four part series one vehicles one tools one objects one placeables and I mean objects maybe not even because there's not much in objects honestly and same with placeables so I might go through both those either way at least three part series so vehicles tools and then these two together so and then at the end I'll show you what all I, I I like the vehicles I like to utilize kind of a go-to that I like to grab and use for the most most, most of what I do so yeah, um, hopefully you like this. Let me know what you think. And I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello. Don't forget that. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, hello everybody. Just uh, thought I'd try and show y'all something that, uh... Just an idea, basically. When I do, like, my gameplays and... Uh, videos and whatnot. I like to choose certain equipment, kind of a must-have or whatnot. You know, but some of it's not a big deal. Um, brand is not necessarily. I mean, I like a little bit of everything. Not, not probably John Deere is one of my least unfortunate. Stara, I mean, I think, and a couple of those. But either way, nothing against John Deere or any of the. I mean, heck, it's farming equipment. I really like farming equipment in general. It's pretty cool, but. Either way, what it is is just, you know, people super popular, blah, 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 this and that, and some of those deals, and I'm like, huh? I don't, it doesn't bother me that much, so. So I just wanted to shoot a, shoot a video here. Hopefully it's kind of quick. <laughs> just kind of give you all an idea of what uh, what I like to do, especially when I first start off. I just jumped on the fellows real quick since there's a little bit of area here. And, uh, take a look and see what I, I'm looking at. So, we'll start off with the vehicles. Small tractors, don't really care for them a whole lot. Obviously, the Fiat's one of those. I'm more of a medium to the largers, but if I'm going to do anything with these, I usually start off with the Fent. So, I mean, you can go up to, this one starts at 115, and you go up to 150. Plus, got a front latcher. So, I really like that Fent one. Um, several of these are good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't, don't follow through with them all. This one actually been, um, actually the one on, farming here yeah this lint track's pretty pretty nice too is I mean it's 136 horsepower so for a small one it's actually really nice you can get some options in there too oops uh, but uh with that you can you can change a few colors oh that's purple that's kind of oh that was black <laughs> that's said purple I mean as you could tell pretty good Ooh, that looks good okay. but uh, as I'm using and then I got a few mods, a few other ones here. The class ones, the class pack, pretty much anything class I'm cool with. Because they make some pretty fantastic. I mean, this goes up to 140. Plus, you got the uh, Thatcher, which is nice. But the class, just the brand name alone. And you got the different wheel types. But I don't use wheel weights, but yeah, that's my deal on it. Uh, the medium tractors. Uh, case right here very first one which is standard a lot i mean you go with the high end you get 268 one horsepower pretty darn nice you got different wheel sizes some funky ones narrow tires always look funky i think but whatever it's pretty nice i don't think i use any john deere tractors honestly and i mean it's not like i said it's not a big deal i would just as you can see here this is like 40 41 i mean so you got these are huge on slot count the bottom left there, but John Deere's always super, super high. Like this one, that's the funny thing with this one here. 
being 30 slot count. I knew Holland's one of the ones that they gave us with one of the packs for. So that's a Giants vehicle. Still taking 30 slots. <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, 58. That's that's a lot. So yeah, it's been a module crazy. And then there's just a cool little case here. Seven horsepower. It's pretty cool looking, it? but that's only 12 slots. I mean, it just depends on what it is, of course. So those type of scenarios are a little bit different on that. Um, and like I said, I don't, I like all these different tractors. All this stuff is really cool to me. So just whatever floats. But that's a nice thing about having a variety. You can change whatever you want. I think. Oh, uh, just a second here. There was one. Is the one? No, that's not it. Ah, uh, this. Hmm. There was one that's uh. Sorry, the blackberry one or something like that was pretty, pretty quick. Oh, there you go, right there, fit. Yeah, that's it was a fit one, but value. He can jump that up to three ninety six. That's just cool looking. Sorry, I don't remember what the name is right off the bat. It's one of the ones that we got to set up. Now, the, the, the big ones, I love this tractor. This tractor is fantabulous. Um, you can go 435 to 530 horsepower. Now, you got $400,000, which is ridiculous. But I mean, look at those. I'm going to go ahead and buy this one just to show you all what it looks like. I keep saying y'all, and I'm not even. Oh, whatever. But. I mean, this thing is, I mean, just look at this, look at that, it's pretty 80. That's 35 slots for this guy, too, but this is a large tractor. It does the articulation a little bit there, articulatory. This is just a standard trailer bird tires and wheels on, but yeah, it's just a beautiful truck, tractor, whatever you want to call it. We get it, it starts up the horn. I like the horn, it's more like a actual horn. It turns, you can change the articulation. But this is a really cool thing too with it. I love that fact you can do this. You get stuck somewhere. Oh, I can't go forward anymore. Kick it out. And I can skip the full force. Going forward. <laughs> this is kind of a cool little deal. I always thought it was pretty fantabulous. But, yep, that's that one. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and go forward. Hard over just, I don't use... I have never really used any of them. But same thing with the Klaus packs here. But I mean, all these are super expensive, though, too. But, I mean, you got 305 for the... I don't see 374 for the class. But I just, I've never really messed around with those much. Not more I'm on PC, and I see a little more relevance of them. But working through that. This this is just on my console. Like I said, I'm just showing you all. You know, I know how to do these more. With the Harvesters... This is where John Deere comes into play. <laughs> I do, I use, like I said, I have a huge variety. So whatever feels right to me, personally. So, of course, you get the smaller ones and the standard in-game ones. And you get these modded babies back here. Now, the axle flow, fantastic. You get the tracks in that bad boy. It's pretty cool. You get 26,000 liters on it, which is pretty awesome. Especially on a, uh... And look at the tracks in that sucker. Oof. But it's 432,000. See, these are great. 46,000 for a harvester? What? But it's only 8,000 liters, too. And you can't use a very big header on them because they'll tear it up. And this New Holland I found, too, is really nice. But same thing, $438,000 for it. But you get 21,500 liter capacity. Pretty cool. And this one here is my go-to. John Deere. Uh, oops. See, it's funny because it's twenty-four thousand dollars more, so we're at two hundred fifty thousand for that. But the higher capacity on there, twenty-two nine, drops it down to two thirty-one. So I mean, we're dropping. It's crazy, but and all I'll do is I'll um, I don't need anything else except for the hitch there. And then I'll extend this out because I use I like to use the big headers and I still get the bendable one here, so it's not sticking out of the way. So I'll snag this guy here. And then I'll match a header normally, since I had used the two height controller for harvesters, which on console is a fantastic thing. I don't like using these headers that don't have the trailer thing because 
it's just a pain in the butt to put them on the trailers. So I like to use these. It's the only ones I have. I don't know if there's the other ones that would be compatible with it. So if somebody knows, please let me know because that would be great. But <laughs> got the case or the New Holland. Since it's yellow, I just get the New Holland one. Now actually see at the bottom it says headers. So let me go over further. So now it says true height control for headers. Same base strap, but we can use the faster ones. Now then once you get past here, all these other ones are not the same. So... So I'll grab, usually grab this guy, because at least it doesn't look super funny on the, uh... Oops, let me go ahead and... So, I don't know why I bought these, just at least some, right? Whatever. So as you can see, nice big, it's a huge topper on this bad boy. And it's great, because when you unfold it, that's all it does, just... But... As you can see how far out that goes... Once I get this on here, you'll understand. <laughs> See, it's already got these, this in the case. I mean, there's several other ones, but these are the biggest ones. As you can see, it's got that, uh, got this baby out here sticking out. It's part of the thing, so if I grab it here, boom, it doesn't lift off of it. I had to hit the button to fold it, boom, it just tucks it under. It's so great. So then when you duck it down, it's no problem. And... Since I put the longer extension on the pipe there, it sticks out past the header. So when you have a truck, the trailer, the auger wagon, whatever you're using to to drop it out, it goes past that. So that's really nice. And it's got a light on the dipper there. <laughs> See, I I think it's fantastic. So. Fold that baby up. Boom. <laughs> you can see it falling across in the background. But uh, so yeah, those are my stuff with this. Trucks. Most of these trucks are great. I love these. I like the trucks, you know, the, the, the whole cab over stuff. Now, I, I do really like. Phoenix is fantastic. I love them. Unfortunately, the sound is just. Especially when you're trying to do streaming. I mean, I can still play all day long and listen to it. Just fantastic. I love it. But. Do any kind of streaming or recording or anything like that? Definitely hard to do because you got that's such a loud noise that's overbearing your talk. But still, he he does such fantastic and fabulous work. I, 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 he's got some great mods. A2 Studios is fantastic. David is great, very much so. His Roadrunner is really cool too. I like the cab on it, but for a farm truck, it's really not. This is if you want to do like over the road stuff. So what I use personally, I like. Let's see, got a few. The Roadrunner Plus Plus is fantastic too. It's bigger, yes, but there's so many options you could do on it. So with this, you can do this. So you got none, patch on the back. So see right here with the point, got the whole pin and ball, three point. Oh, that's on the front. So that's the cool thing. You put a three point on the front or both. So what I'll do with this, I'll have a trailer, a big, huge trailer on the back of this, and like especially with forestry, get that unreal tr tree harvest from the front. Just truck along, pulling that thing, chew it up, spits it out. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't have great sound effects, right? But for standard ones, this is my favorite. I like to switch this up and boom, that's all. That simple, I love it. The, when it starts to get used, it's kind of cool because it starts, the front corners kind of get worn a little bit, pink, you know, so it's really neat. I mean, you can actually jump up to a higher one, so you got 460 or 550. Problem is, you're jumping up almost as much the same as the truck is originally so that gets a little bit ridiculous but I never had a problem otherwise and I'll turn that I used to hit chrome on that but yeah no extra charges for him boom 75,000 nothing bad at all sounds fantastic too oops I'm jumping it may help one here you see the little sputter there it's pretty cool <laughs> Great animation on this thing is kind of fun too because you can do this. Let me show you. Real quick. I'll show you coming out here. You can do like a power slide to get it going pretty good. <laughs> you just get a little 
of power slide. The problem is when you're trying to haul stuff and all that, yeah, it gets a little bit annoying because you're trying not to let it go f f crazy like that. The only problem also is the trailer sits further on the back of it. So with it doing that, it does kind of stick out so you have a lot more space where the thing spins and jackknifes a lot. But still, very, very cool truck. I like it a lot. Don't use the potato one. Obviously, you can tell. Sugar beet, same thing. There's some modern ones. Some this one I got nightmares with because of the sugar cane, sugar pain thing that Jelsa Farmer did. So thank you so much for that again. <laughs> so Jelsa and uh, um, it did it on Spectacle Island. He had a, I got a video on it. He does as well. So if you ever want to check his out, Jels Farmer, he did a live stream on it. And then a few months later, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. He's like, okay, go for it. So I guess Alien Jim uh, from Spectacle Island, the, the map maker there. Well, he does other, quite a few other great mods too, but tested him on it. He's like, hey, so the he did it, and then I did it better. <laughs> it's, it just takes a long time, and there was a lot of stuff. So I took these with some dollies in the back and stuck a trailer in the back but i used the a2 studios once like i said he's got great equipment i would slide back and forth just but yeah it, it was it was fun don't use these much especially i like to do the silo silage a little differently but i guess what the, i should probably start using them because they haven't been open i could dump straw or bales in the top and then suck it up afterwards either way oops and then forestry i don't use but i got some crate equipment here now with uh, FS22 coming up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using some of that. Cotton. i got the John Deere cotton harvest on here as well, but actually, look at that. 25 slots for the case, 42 slots. Almost twice as much for the John Deere. And the price, too. And the funny thing is, the case actually holds more volume. It's interesting, but either way. It is what it is. <laughs> I, you know, and like I said, I have nothing against anybody. It's just one of those deals. Crop protection don't use much of either, but they got some new... Uh, these guys are pretty nice, because... Uh, right, that's one of the newer... The horse mod that I have. But you got the... Uh, this guy here comes... You get... Um, some options with here. Yeah, see... Oops, too far this here so you can put this on the back of the John Deere and then you got the boom and and, and you can you can move it around it's really cool so it has uh, so that does fertilizer and there's also yep, right here a dry box the dry fertilizer so liquid dry pretty cool stuff um, mowers don't use these ones because of the price 380,000 but honestly this thing is fantastic if you ever get a chance to even just lease it even though it's like 20, almost 20 grand just to lease the dog, I think. You can do a straw swath on it. It cuts cuts like butter. Like a knife and through butter. <laughs> and you can do a straw swath on it. It's really cool. It just makes it easier. Uh, front loaders. Don't use these much either, but I really like this. That's why I don't have many in here. Wow. I don't even have the... Hmm. This was a base key. But anyway. This cloth one's really nice. I've used this a few times. Uh, oh, sorry. No, actually. Front loaders. I don't... I don't think I ever use those, to be honest with you. Skid steer loaders, just the base game New Holland's there. Tell handlers, that's where I've, yeah, okay. Got the Manitou's. But the Scorpion, pretty good. I really like how it tele, you can scooch it out and stuff. It's telescopic reach. And then we got a wheel loader, so never use these either. <laughs> I mean, honestly, my problem is. The that front undulations in there, as Mr. CDP would say. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Too, you know, uh, that's weird. But uh, with the turning on the front, it just throws me off. It just really, really makes me feel weird. Cars, that's just the base game ones are okay. I use these guys every once in a while. Mahindra and John Deere. Um, so really, I just Bigfoot's awesome. Here. This John Deere, you get a lot more options. There's some more stuff that fits on that as well. Uh, I think that's actually the Precision Farming. Okay, right? couple of these. Not a huge Ford fan, but these really cool old trucks are really cool. And you got the Chevy one, which is really nice, too. Um, personally, this one, I don't even need the big monster. I like the sound, the feel, the touch, everything of this guy here. This guy is fantastic. 
22. I still just use the heck out of this thing. I don't care for a second, especially in a game. I don't need that extra long truck. So I don't need just 3,500 out recently. That's great. Cool. It's a nice, really nice truck too. But this guy, this is what I do. This is my standard. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. Dark Moon, Bronze Fire. Look at that. That's just gorgeous for what? Wheelbase, um, all terrain, dualies, front reel. Attached just for there, but oh, so I'll just do uh, like that. Sorry, just going through all these things here because you have to off road. Fenders right there, that looks good. Boom. I don't even need because it's 180 out of 280 horsepower just because it's nice. Cab lights there, mirrors, I like to have them sticking out. And you can stick the vinyls on there. I mean, I've used this A2 Logistics or even the lawn care one, but let's just put the lawn care one on there. And then you go over to the cat part, over here, miscellaneous. Now this flatbed is fantastic too, because you got the fifth wheel on the top plus the back one. So it works out really good, but standard truck one too is really cool. So you can do uh, bronze fire, dark moon, bam. Fenders, dual fenders, vinyls, lawn care, rear bumper. So let me put these together. It's a plus. I still listen. It sounds real. It doesn't sound kind of off. Back up to that bad boy. Don't put it on. Look at that truck, it's fantastic. Plus you got this cruising down the ab. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Beautiful truck. Some major lights on here. Bam, look at that. Love the color. I, once I found this, uh, yes please. It just looks great. It looks great, sounds great. The interior looks great too. I mean, like, watch when I turn it off. Turn it back on, and the GPS pops on, and everything. It's just so cool. I just think I'll get moving. It's pretty darn stable, too, I gotta say. It sounds like he's running a standard, which is really cool. See. I'm turning, not letting off the throttle at all. Oop, I hit something. So that's what but as you can see, the thing is really stable. And it's not so loud as the rest of the stuff, which is weird, because... But, eh, it's just fantastic. Now, with that one, too, when you, if you use this... The other thing that's cool is... Oh, no, I'm thinking... Uh, what am I thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. Is this the one? Fail it. Yeah, there's one of them that has a thing, but either way. So yeah, that's that's my. <laughs> Sorry. And then miscellaneous. Uh, I don't think to know. There's nothing in there. Miscellaneous. Um.